Are we ready to go? Yeah. All right, uh, make it episode 21, I think. So we made it 21, 22, one or the other. We'll see when we release it. But we're at Cider Valley Coffee here in Pickaway County, Circleville. I'm here with Sarah Turner, the local recorder. How you doing? To be. Um, I'm doing well, thank you. To be, yeah. Yes, when, yes. When, when's the date? I will take office January 7th. January 7th. Of 2025, So yes. ne next year. So yes. you got a few months still, but you, you already work in the office, isn't that right? I do. I have been there for uh, almost a decade now. Um, I work for the court, current reporter, Joyce Gifford. Um, she has been in our office for quite some time. So it's been an honor and a pleasure to work for her. So you started working there when you were pretty young. You're still pretty young. So you, when did you start there? You worked I, for 10 years already. Yeah, I started working there when I was 20. 21. So I've been there pretty much my entire adult life. Do you think that's when you're a girl growing up, do you think you'd be uh, working in the reporter's office? No, I did not. I honestly, when I started the position, um, I didn't really know what all we did there. Um, so it's been a lot of learning and growing as the time has went on. And it's probably not a rare thing that people don't know what the recorder does. I know what the recorder does because I'm a lawyer and I'm mm -hmm. kind of a nerd and I have to and I've looked at those documents. But I'd say most people, they probably say they record things and that's probably all they have. But it's a little bit more to it than that. What does a recorder do? And so what that's we, way you can explain. Yeah. So what we do is we record real estate documents. Um, we record deeds, mortgages, leases, land contracts. Um, <laughs> affidavits. There's a lot of different document types that we record. The majority of them all have to do with real estate. Um, but we do also record soldier discharges for veterans. Um, those are the only really thing that we record that doesn't have any involvement with real estate. Um, and they're also the only documents that we have that are not public record. Okay. And, and how long do these records go? I kind of know they go back a long way and you never get rid of them. How far back are these? Some of the oldest records you guys have here in the county. Yeah, so Pickley County started in 1810. So that's when our records start. Um, and we have those still in our office today. Uh, back then, they would actually re-handwrite original documents. So if you go into the recorder's office, we have books and books and books where previous um, recorder deputies have handwritten hundreds of thousands of documents over the years but we, we do keep you, those you don't have to do that job. yes i am very thankful That's rough. yeah copy machine good invention. yes i don't know who, who invented the copy machine but we are thankful yeah. yeah yeah um, and they have to be making some mistakes i would think transcribing all that by hand surprisingly enough we looking back the records you'll find every now and then some some little errors that they made but they were very meticulous in, in their job so yeah and it's pretty impressive interesting so yeah. What, what do you like? I mean, obviously you've been doing this 10 years and, mm -hmm. and it, it is a political office. You got voted in for this mm -hmm. job. But you said it's a job that probably should be very political because it's not, you're not making decisions uh, how the city or county is going one way or the other. You're trying to keep our important documents, how land and property is sold. Yes. And that goes across all party lines. You got to keep them in a certain way. Kind of talk to that a little bit. So, yeah, I, we are partisan position. All of the county positions, most of them are. Um, I don't feel that they should be partisan. I believe still in, in an elected official, um, but I, I think the politics sometimes can be blinding to what the job and the position actually are. And sometimes that means people get into those positions that might not have the experience needed. Um, and eventually, I mean, those things tend to work themselves out. Um, but I think it's important to have all of that knowledge. If you have somebody there um, who can do it, is willing to do it, it they are vital records. Um, it, it is very important. Some people might not see that because they don't understand, but it's important to have all those records, have them safe kept, have somebody who knows how to do that job. So in 100 years from now, you know, the Pickaway County homeowners, they can, that that whole line of real estate it can be found down the line easements leases everything that goes with it and i and i think mo most people just assume if i need my documents about real estate in my town or any town i can go get those and i just assume that's always going to be there mm -hmm. and only if it was screwed up would i ever even know who's doing it if, if something's messed up and i couldn't get it then i'm going to be mad but i'm never going to be like real happy that they're there it's something it's like uh tap water electric we just assume that it's going to be there but it doesn't happen on the sun it's not automatic so exactly that's what a recorder's yeah on. and you know there are title searchers people who actually come in and need those records to be in the order how they're supposed to be they're supposed to be able to be easily 
accessed by not just searchers, but by the public. So anybody could come in and do a search back on their property. But if something's indexed incorrectly, you might not ever find that. Again, we have thousands of documents in there and there could be a lease on your property if it's not kept or indexed correctly and it, it, it's pertinent. <laughs> It's still there, it still matters, but if you can't find it, you might not know that. You might purchase a home and then realize this company has their, this ability to come onto your land and you know use it. Different things like that, easements. Um, or you know, with, with fraud and the uprise, um, it's also important to have, to have things in a certain way so they're more easily detected, more easily accessible for people to come in and say, hey, it's not a big mess and there might be a document hidden in there where it wasn't supposed to be. Um, and then, then those people are able to take care of it more quickly in a yeah. suitable manner. Sorry. Yeah, so we were talking about maybe some of these should be partisan. And I, I think maybe some of them arguably should be. I mean, if I'm voting for city council, you know, maybe I, if you're a Democrat or Republican, you, they may be making decisions that, you know, some of those opinions may go with the other, but it does seem like recorders really it's more you want someone super organized, not necessarily someone that believes on some of these bigger picture social issues that has really nothing. I mean, we just want the papers organized in the right way and it doesn't really matter who's doing it. We want the most organized person, I would guess. Absolutely. And you don't want to come into the office and feel like just because your party differs from mine that you'll get any sort of different treatment. Um, we have a job to do for everyone in the county, not just people of one position or another. My view should never impede on my ability to do to do my job. Before, I, not totally similar, but a little bit similar. Before I was an attorney, I worked at the DNV, giving everyone their license and their tests and everything. Oh boy, so it was, yeah. It's kind of similar. Like yeah. we had to have the right papers. Everything had to be organized. Everyone's info needs to be right, and not everyone's always happy when they're in the line. You know, yeah. so it's kind of public service, but you learn a lot doing it. I mean, yes. and I do think it's, it is important sometimes to have someone, it's good to bring in an outside person with fresh ideas, but it's also sometimes important to have someone who's worked in a position for a long time. So yeah. you probably know everything about the office already or, or a lot. How much has your, uh, the person who was recorder before uh, taught you? Joyce, the current recorder, she is, she's one of the longest standing recorders in the state of Ohio. Um, so she's been in there for quite some time. She's also involved in the recorder's legislation, um, the legislative committee. Um, she's been big in the recorder's association. So she, she has a wealth of knowledge. Yeah. Um, and there are new laws, you know, being brought in all the time, new documents, documents that you might not see for 10 years until another one's recorded. Um, and Joyce has all of that down pat. So I feel like the things that she has been able to teach me have, have made me understand the job better, understand how important and valuable it is what we do. Um, and that's a, her encouragement in passing that down. It's a big reason why I wanted to be a recorder. I really respect her. I respect um, the job that she has done for our community. Um, she's, she really is a wonderful public servant. You yeah, know. 40 years, yeah. a long time. Yeah, uh, she's dedicated. And it's not a job I think that you get a lot of pats on the back for if things are going well. Mm -hmm. But if something screws up, you're probably gonna hear about it. And, and, the, and the crazy thing about a reporter, I think specifically, if you, if you do something wrong now, you might not find out your whole life or your whole career. It might be 50 years from now when someone's looking at a document that they even the mistake comes to light. So yeah. it's a heavy burden. I mean, yes, it, it is. It, it, you get, and it's pe working with people's you know most valuable assets. You know, their property, land is. It, it, it's a big part of what you want. You know, you want to own your own things, your own home. It's 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 very important to people and. Um, especially like our seniors, that's they get so concerned about that stuff. Rightfully so, they've worked their whole lives for this and this is the biggest, again, asset that they have. So um, having, having, especially Joyce there, somebody who really cares, it's not just a job, she actually cares, she wants to do the job right. I care and I want to do that job right. I feel like she's really instilled that um, in me and everybody else. But doing things correct, you know, we have, it is, Everybody makes mistakes, we're all human. So we have that process of it goes through one person and then through the next person and then through the next person um, to keep any mistakes at a minimal. And we also work 
with other county offices. If something comes through to us that we notice, maybe that wasn't right that the engineers looked at this way and we communicate with each other. Um, same with the auditor's office. We, we really tried to do that and I'm very appreciative and thankful for the other offices. They're very easy to work with. Um, I feel like we can rely on each other when it comes to certain things. Um, you got to help each other out, exactly. makes it easier for you. Yeah, everyone. and it's it's a full process, so we all work together. We might not be in the same office doing the same things, but I feel like we could try to look out for each other for the benefit of the county, so, yeah. And, and it's my job as an attorney, I'm an injury lawyer now, so I don't really deal with it, but in prior life, when I was a first young lawyer, I dealt with some real estate issues, and I would look at some of these old documents, and they were measuring with, you know, footprints and chain links and all sorts of things, old school ways, yeah. right when they were transcribing by hand. Um, obviously, we're not doing it that way now. We probably have, you know, GPS, hopefully measurements. Uh, can you say, are, 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 is the recorder's office here in, in Pickaway County and in statewide, are we moving more into the modern area, era? Are, are we wire or paperless? Do you have it all in a, the cloud? You know, where, where are these information is it just in paper or do we have it in the computer as well it's also digital so so going back to where i think experience does matter but growth also matters change is important that's part of life so we do a lot with e-recording um, we started that not too long before covid happened and when covid happened you know the world kind of took a pause but real estate had to keep moving if you know real estate claps your economy goes right so I feel like the e-recording the option for people to file those documents electronically that really saved us um, because we weren't able to keep a full staff like normal um, but we were still doing so much work we were actually really busy during COVID uh, there was a lot going on surprisingly so um, having that it, it's made a big impact and now, even to this day, we, we probably do more electronic filing than we do paper documents, but we still have a lot of local attorneys, um, local individuals who bring those in over the counter, um, which is nice because we still get to wait on the yeah. public and have that, that interaction. So options now. Yes, yes. And um, especially for out of state people um, who can mail in things or do them electronically. Um, we used to be located in the courthouse on um, South Court Street and they actually relocated our office in the auditors and the treasurers a few years ago down here on Island Road. Okay. So we can't walk deeds through like we used to to our engineer's office for liability reasons. Okay. Um, so that e-filing system has made it really nice for out of, out of yeah. state or county attorneys who don't want to have to make a drive down to transfer a deed through our, 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 our five minute could be processed. Yeah. Um, and it just makes it simpler and I, I feel like it's nice to have. Are, is every uh, recorder, is it always a county recorder? Are there state recorders? Are there city recorders somewhere in the state or is it every county has one recorder? So our county has a recorder, but states differ. So some some do have it, um, to my understanding, where instead of having a separate auditor, a separate recorder, separate clerks, or they're all kind of together. Okay. Um, but. I think that having those separate offices, right. again, it's a, it's a checks and balances, you know, it, it, it makes it simpler to catch things that are, are incorrect. Um, but for us, we do record all of the county documents. So it doesn't matter if you're in a village or a city, um, we're just out they in the township. Yep, they'll all come to us for recording. Um, how many how many team members are at the recorder's office? So we have the recorder, Joyce Gifford, um, and then I am the chief deputy. And then there are two other full-time deputies. And then we also have a part-time deputy. She retired from the recorder's office, but she comes back um, to help us back scan older documents. So we're constantly working on getting more records available to the public online. Um, again, you know, just to keep things moving towards the future. And some, some larger counties already have all that. And we don't have the budget for that quite yeah. yet. So we're, we're working back at our own pace and, you know, just keeping consistent. So you've been kind of second in command, I guess, under Joyce uh, yeah. for a few years now. Yes. Um, and But in January, you're going to be, I don't know if you'll call it the boss or the head of the team, uh, probably yeah. the best way to do it. But that, what do you think changes when you're when you're the, the buck stops with you and you have to make the hard calls on stuff? I mean, I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to be changed. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it ain't always going to be easy. Right? It'll, it'll be different, I, I'm, I'm sure. I've never been in that position where I had to be responsible for the hard decisions. Um, I've been a, a source of leadership in our office for quite some time now. Um, I know that the other girls can rely on me and ask 
my advice and things like that. And if Joyce is not there, I am the one that's in charge. Um, but I know there's going to be that adjustment period. Um, but I'm excited for it. I'm excited for the responsibility, um, the growth that that brings. Working for a county office, there's not always a lot of growth. Um, and you get paid by the taxpayers. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that you can just keep climbing consistently. This mm -hmm. gives me that opportunity to do so. And I'm ready for that. And I yeah. think Joyce has trained me well. So I'm excited. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's opportunity for growth. Yeah. I mean, that's how I take it. I have people yeah. I manage, you know, and mm -hmm. it's not every day is uh, what it's cracked up to be maybe, yeah. or it's not as easy as it looks sometimes when you, you're not the boss, I think. But uh, I think now looking back at some of my bosses I had at jobs when I was younger, I have more respect for them now looking in the past because it was, you know, sometimes when you think they're being an idiot or whatever, like, you know how we do, you know, everyone likes to complain sometimes about the boss, but it's not not as easy as it looks, but I, I, but it's also very rewarding. So I think you'll yeah. get a lot out of it. You just got to, you know, keep the, keep the right attitude. I've never been a recorder, so I have no, no idea about that, but I have tried to manage people and, you know, you, you kind of listen to them and hopefully they listen to you and kind of build it as a team. Do, yeah. It seems like you're already kind of in the right position. You, you're right there. So now you just won't, hopefully you can still call Joyce with some, uh, some questions. If you, you get Absolutely. stuck on something, she'll answer the yeah. phone, but, uh, she already knows she's yeah, not going to be yeah, let yeah, off the hook that yeah, easy. Can't let off, not someone with 40 years of knowledge, yeah. but, uh, yeah. Is there anything else you think people in the, the community should know about the recorder's office? Um, well, we are trying to kind of branch out, find ways to let the, the community know more about what we do. Um, and one of those efforts we are, working right now on getting a new website built and that's not just going to be something for the recorder's office it will have information but we also kind of want to let people know how that ties in with some of the other offices um, again it's not just our office that people don't know a lot about so we get a lot of yeah. phone calls daily um, for things that aren't things that we can help them with but we direct them the best that we can to where they need to go so we're hoping that that can kind of be um, I don't know, that missing link that we really need for just just to get everybody on the more, same page. More yeah, we, we have all of these tax paid positions and people don't really know how to take advantage of them sometimes. So we just want to be more helpful, as helpful as we can be. You know, I think it's a good point, especially in your position, because I don't think many people come to the recorder or dealing with the recorder because they have an issue with the recorder. They usually have an issue with some other entity, whether it's taxes or the auditor or the court or something, they're just coming to you to get that paper, right? I mean, right? So yeah. like, you are kind of a good hub for everything, I would, mm -hmm. I would assume, so. Yeah, so, and we try to stay as, you know, involved in, in try to know for sure what other offices do so we can answer those questions. Nobody wants to send somebody who's already made five phone calls on a wild goose chase. So um, we just found out the other day, again, we record um, soldiers discharge. We also do redactions for, um, you know, military and um, police officers, fire EMS, things like that. Okay. So um, we didn't know and people were coming to us to get certain documents redacted and we knew that they go to the auditor's office, but our um, Board of Elections also offers that service. And we didn't know, but we did know that, that information was public on there. Yeah. So um, I made the call to the Board of Elections. Now our office knows that they do that. So when somebody comes into us with our paperwork, we know to send them to the Board of Elections as well. They got to do both. Yeah, to make sure that they're as well protected as they can be. So, and that wouldn't happen if we didn't no, you know, yeah. and it's, I wouldn't say a responsibility of ours, but again, it's just, we want to be helpful. You know, we, we are a community and we, we try to do the best that we can. It's kind of like what we're doing now. It's, it's, you know, businesses market, but like government agencies necessarily don't market to get business, but you kind of market education for people to know how they can use you and better yeah. help the community. Cause I, I do believe, you know, people in most positions are trying to do good, whether everybody in the public always feels like that. I don't think so, but I think uh, most people in positions of power try and do the right thing at least starting out so I think uh, it is good to try to get the word out to people to know how they can use your guys' office and, and and maybe just come in and say hey and uh, see who you are when, when you when you take over in, in January you got a few more months um, really appreciate you sitting down here with us and kind of getting the word out of what you do or what you're going to be doing when you're you run the office um, and I just wish you a whole lot of luck thank and, uh, you yeah, hopefully I, I don't do a lot of real estate so I don't know if I'll be through but I'm sure we'll see you around town all right mm -hmm. absolutely that sounds wonderful all right, thank you. See, not so bad. Yeah. You're doing great.